Hi, my name is Ryan Wolf with Ability Ministry, and I want to talk to you today about something that may seem entirely counterintuitive. You may think that the worst time to start a disability ministry at your church could be during a global pandemic. I'm here to tell you that today, uh, maybe now is actually the best time to start a disability ministry right in the middle of a global pandemic. Let me talk to you a little bit uh, first about what pandemics cause ministries to do typically. All right. And, and they're not positive things. So as I go through these, you'll probably think, well, you're making the case against what you're actually trying to propose. So stick with me for just a second. Pandemics typically cause ministries to scale back their current programming that they already have established. Another thing that it typically does is it causes uh, ministries and churches to scale back on their budgets, uh, less programming, uh, so less budget dollars, less dollars coming in. So it's kind of a negative cycle that happens. Uh, oftentimes churches that we have seen have closed their building, uh, if not entirely, uh, maybe with the exception of only Sunday mornings when they have uh, chose to open up their building. Uh, again, the, the negative snowball that starts to roll down the hill causes oftentimes uh, churches to have to cut staff. Uh, and then this whole uh, change in, in how churches operate, uh, instead of operating out of faith, there is a tendency for churches to operate out of fear uh, instead. Uh, and also uh, what churches typically will do during a global pandemic, at least that we've seen, is that their staff leadership has said, oh, we're going to pause uh, starting any new ministry efforts. We're going to do a few things well, and we're just not going to do anything new, take on anything that we've not done before, we're not comfortable with, we're not going to take any chances. Uh, and lastly, pandemics cause ministries uh, to lose engagement. We've seen that across the board, uh, where churches are typically uh, around 30 to 40 percent in attendance if they've opened back up since where they uh, were before the pandemic started. So all these things are very negative, right? Pandemics cause ministries to do a lot of things that they never ever thought or imagined they would do. So after all that negative stuff that I told you, why in the world would I tell you that maybe the best time to start a disability ministry is in the middle of a global pandemic? Why would I tell you that? I'm gonna give you seven reasons why. Okay, these are the reasons why I believe right now in the middle of this pandemic, because I don't believe it's going away anytime soon. These are the reasons why I believe you should start a disability ministry. And now is the best time to do it. First reason is this, the feeling of isolation that we all have is a universal thing. Uh, the people within your community, within your disability community have been isolated. They were isolated before the pandemic uh, and they'll remain isolated after the pandemic. We all know now how that feeling of isolation feels and the negative effects that it has. And it should create within us a new compassion for those who are stuck in isolation. Uh, so it should motivate us now more than ever to start a disability ministry to reach those who have been long since stuck in isolation. Uh, the second reason why now is the best time to start a disability ministry is that accessibility is not an issue. If you have an older building that maybe has some physical limitations, whether it be stairways, uh, lack of elevators, uh, restrooms that aren't uh, up, to, up to ADA compliance, different things like that. Well, guess what? During a global pandemic, when people are locked down, when people aren't coming to church anyway, you have no accessibility issues, none. Uh, anyone that has a computer has accessibility to being a part of your disability ministry. Third reason um, is as, as to why right now is the best time to start a disability ministry is that online ministry levels the playing field. Kind of goes with that previous point where accessibility is not an issue. Uh, as the field has been leveled, everyone is accessing church and community in the same way. They're doing it online. Uh, online ministry makes the gospel accessible to everyone, no matter where they are at, so long as they have uh, a phone or a computer or internet connection. Uh, so it levels the playing field. Fourth reason why right now is the best time to start a disability ministry is that online ministry can be done on a budget, all right? 
A lot of people have learned how to do uh, online ministry a lot faster than they ever thought they could and a lot cheaper than they ever thought they could. As you have seen on the church ministry side, the things that the global pandemic typically does to churches where it cuts budgets back and it hurts them negatively, financially, uh, lots of churches aren't spending money because they've scaled back on programming. Therefore, they may have in a few extra dollars to do some online ministry. It can be done on a budget and we at Ability Ministry can help you do that. We have great online curriculum that you can use that's very inexpensive uh, that can help you as you start your disability ministry gatherings. Uh, it's a great thing. Uh, the fifth thing that, the fifth reason why uh, right now is the best time to start a disability ministry in the middle of a global pandemic is the fact that uh, there are great online ministry materials available to you, like I just mentioned. Um, you can go to our store uh, at Ability Ministry and you can go into our curriculum section and you can find specifically uh, curriculum that was designed to help you with online ministry because it's video driven where you can plug and play the videos and ask the group questions and do the activities that we provided for you. There are great materials that are being developed right now uh, as we have seen uh, how uh, necessity is the mother of in, in, inventions, right? Uh, so a lot of us have, have changed what they were doing to make ministry easier for you. All right, the, the, ne the next reason why now is the best time is the fact that, uh, that you have no Sunday morning limitations. A lot of times starting the disability ministry on Sunday morning is difficult. It's difficult because you're competing for volunteers for your ministry. Volunteers, you're either gonna steal them for children's ministry, you're gonna steal them from a different ministry to try to get your ministry going. And sometimes Sunday mornings is just difficult. There are Sunday morning limitations on families because sometimes getting up on Sunday morning is difficult for families. There's also limitations for those with disabilities within your community because public transportation doesn't run on Sundays. I don't know how it's not a rights violation, but it is the case for almost every community uh, in America where public transportation is not available. So there's so many limitations to actually doing ministry in person on Sunday mornings. When you do it online, you have no limitations. You set the schedule when it works best for everyone. And it can be a very beautiful thing where you can meet people where they are at. And finally, the last reason why now is the best time to start a disability ministry in the middle of a global pandemic is this. If you don't prioritize reaching the isolated now, you probably never will. All right, I'm gonna say that again, the, the last and final reason uh, why now might be the best time. It's this, if you don't prioritize reaching the isolated now, you probably never will, okay? Uh, those that were isolated before the pandemic, those in your disability community, uh, they know, you know how it feels now. And if you won't reach out to them now, you'll have probably lost all credibility with them. And if you do go to try to reach out to them in the future, they may say, what took you so long? You finally know how it feels to be isolated. Why have you waited so long? Are we not important to you? Make it a priority now. Don't wait till things go back to what is deemed normal because they probably never will. Now is the best time to start a disability ministry and we can help you. We offer free consultation and free resources. So if God is kind of tugging on your heart telling you that yeah, we can't wait any longer to reach out to our disability community for Christ, let us help you. Uh, I hope that this is an encouragement to you, maybe a challenge, and I hope to hear from you soon.